you just ran a, a world record or a world best, as maybe they would call it for the park run, 15.13 this morning. Yes, yeah. I don't know it's, if it's official just yet, but um, I looked up what it was previously. So yeah, if I ran 15.13, then that's pretty good. So it's that's a nice way to start the Christmas period. Very good. And you, I mean, you're obviously coming off uh, an incredible summer, your, your best summer to date. Uh, 3.55.87 for the for the 1500 metres back in Brussels there. So clearly this year you're setting up for a big year. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one for me. The the Olympics coming up in the summer and there's obviously world indoors and a uh, European champs as well in the run up to that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a big summer and for me I've had a nice winter block behind me, nothing too particular, just working hard. So it's nice to come out and have a good 5k time to show for that. Um, and hopefully that's a good stepping stone for me into that Paris Olympics. Yeah, so my plans are I'm heading off to Flagstaff for the whole of January and um, then we're going to drop down, race a few races in Boston, uh, the New Balance Grand Prix being one of the focuses. Um, I'm not going to focus hugely on the indoor season, just because in previous years I've not really hammered the indoors but done well outdoors. So I think for me, if I just run through it, try to get some good 3Ks in me. Um, so yeah, I'll be that. Hopefully if I run a few at home, I'll try to get down to the Nationals if I can, then get ready for European Champs and then Olympic Games. So. Yeah, it's gonna. I'll probably spend most of my my year up at altitude this year. <laughs> There's su such congestion with the the major champs this year. You obviously have the the Olympics in the summer, but just the you know the likes of the world indoors is going to be sort of a, a topic of discussion of what athletes will do it, what will not. Obviously, you've probably not decided 100% what you're going to be doing then, but clearly you still will be doing a few indoor races. Yeah, I kind of for myself, I kind of picked up a few injuries over the past two years. Didn't really get to race indoors and had a good summer. So you're looking at that, thinking, is there a correlation? But um. I'm in good shape, so I'm planning on just getting out there and running a couple of races, not too many. And then if I'm in the shape, I'll go and I'll give World Indoors a lash. Um, not fully focusing on being at my, my best for it, really not trying to peak too much. So, yeah, I've kind of said to my coach that we're going we're gonna to look at it and aim towards it possibly, but not being the major focus. Like, all, all eyes are set on Paris. So, yeah, it's, it, as you said, it's a tough year. When you've got a couple of things to try to aim for, it's hard to peak for all of them. Um, the year that had Commonwealth and Europeans were obviously a tough one, but they weren't too far apart. So, yeah, it's tough, and that part it's part of the part of the balancing of the sport. And I'm lucky I have a good coach behind me to help me plan towards it. You know, you've shown that you have the aerobic endurance coming around here in 15, 13. So clearly, I mean, you may have you know thoughts of maybe moving up in the coming years to the 5K, possibly. W would that be in your thoughts, or, or maybe? Maybe not. Ah, yeah, sure. Like, I'd like to give it a wee dabble. Um, I've often thought maybe I'd like to go and double through uh, 5K15 at a championship. So we'll watch this place. Maybe maybe sometime in the future you'll see me lash a 5K around the track. We'll see how fast I could go there. <laughs> Very good. And just finally, you came so close to getting a coveted world medal uh, in the summer. Um, and obviously you won the Northern Ireland Sports Personality of the Year Award. Yesterday you were presented by the winner, uh, Faith Kepiegon. You must have felt like, ecstatic. Just, uh, you know, obviously, I, I presume you didn't expect her to be presenting you with the, the award over video link? No, I definitely did not. I definitely did not. Nigel Ringling came down to the house and um, was having a, having a chat. I thought he just wanted to have a bit of chat about the season that had passed. Um, so one, to win Northern Irish Sports Person of the Year was just phenomenal. And then to get a wee message from Faith herself, who's just an absolute gem of a person, a fantastic athlete, but um, a lovely person on and off the track was, was so lovely. So yeah, I was blown away with that. That was a nice wee surprise at home. Um, so it's been a good few days for me, really. <laughs> Very good. And hopefully we'll see you maybe go one or two better at the Olympics and get on the on the podium here at Round of Vien, being Sung out across the across the stadium, maybe. That would be the dream. That's my dream to see that tricolour raise and around the vein ring around a stadium. Um, I will be giving it absolutely everything, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at it to try to make that dream come true.